This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now, you might recall that a couple of weeks ago I did a video based on the idea that every now and again, if we're lucky, we get that unexpected little windfall, a few quick quid drops into our wallet, um, you know, without uh, any prior thought. And when that happens as a guitarist, that's usually when um, the old GAS, the guitar gear acquisition syndrome kicks in and we start thinking what can i what can i treat myself to and that's what the video was about last time and the sum of money involved was a hundred quid and i looked at various things that you can spend a hundred quid on if you're a guitarist looking to treat yourself well we're going to do the same again today but um we've upped the ante this time this week it's 200 quid uh, that you've got to spend from some unexpected windfall maybe you've picked the right team in the office euros sweepstake or whatever and you've got 200 quid to spend these might be some of the options you might want to consider okay so let's have a look and see what kind of guitar you can get for this kind of money i've chosen this one uh, the harley benton te90 flt in orange blast finish i used to have uh, one of these guitars uh, before they were updated with these new finishes and so on and it was an absolute belter of a guitar um, i would still have it to this day if i didn't um, have a dog who got ill and i had a rather hefty insurance premium um, to pay on well insurance excess to pay on his vet's bills and uh, my uh, Harley Benton TE90 was one of the things that uh, got sold in order to finance that so there you go but a fantastic fantastic guitar if you are uncertain as to whether you are a humbucker um, devotee or you prefer single coils then this style of guitar with these Filtertron style pickups might just be well worth checking out um, they've got the warmth and the girth of a humbucker but still manage to retain that snap and twang and, and clarity of a single coil uh, a perfect happy medium pickup I would say um, the reverse headstock is something that took a bit of getting used to but you soon get acclimatized to it um, I will just say that when I had my incarnation of this guitar the bridge on mine i'm not sure whether this is or not but the bridge on mine was a, a copy of a goto bridge and i just replaced it with the actual goto bridge that this one was a copy of and it was just a direct drop-in replacement i also uh replaced the tuners on mine because they were absolutely well not very good let's say um and put roller string trees on as well these aren't the tuners that were on mine this looks like um a set of um you know vintage clues on kind of things and i can't speak for their reliability or tuning stability because i've never played a guitar with this guitar with that make of tune on but you know they are a great great sounding guitar and if you have to spend maybe you know a few quid extra on um you know a, a couple of upgrades then i still think it's well worth the investment moving on uh, maybe you're looking for an amp and um the vox vt 40x valvetronic hybrid combo now i'm a huge fan of the uh, vox valvetronics um, range of stuff for many years my main guitar tone was um a, you know came from a vox tone lab so let's have a a quick look and see what we've got here um attractive looking thing it's got that sort of characteristic vox look with that checkered grill cloth there's the top panel there and you know you can see you've got all the different amp models uh, gain treble middle bass volume power level so the idea there is that you can turn the power level down crank the volume up and you're getting that um you know kind of amp working on the ragged edge of its um capabilities kind of sound even at the low volume as you can see there it has a valve in it and um it does well speaking from my experience of playing through valvetronics equipment it does have that um that valvey kind of feel to it that touch sensitive valve feel as you can see it'll usb up to your computer not for recording you can't use this as a recording interface which is a shame i think uh, but you can't have everything but you can hook it up to you your pc via the uh, via usb and access this tone room software for sort of deep editing of your sounds and stuff um 
if that is your one, or you can just use it as a standalone combo, and I'm sure the sounds will be perfectly uh, usable. A 40 watt combo is um, not going to be something that you're going to be playing bigger gigs with, but if you're just playing small pub gigs, if you are maybe a solo artist uh, working with backing tracks, and you tend to be playing smaller kind of lounge gigs, then this could be a, an ideal combo for you. And if you're playing bigger gigs, just uh, either mic it up or use the uh, speaker simulated headphone uh, output on it to, um, you know, to put it into the front of house PA and have all the volume on tap you need. So yes, a great sounding little amp, um, £209 and, you know, I don't think you can go far wrong for that kind of price. Maybe though, you're looking for a pedal. And, um, yeah, th this is a very useful type of pedal, that, not specifically this Sans Amp uh, pedal, but this kind of pedal where you can essentially have your amp sound in uh, a little box. Um, many a time I've had to play a gig where it's just a case of, um, you know, turn up and the back line is supplied and you don't know what you're going to be plugging into until you walk into the venue. And having the ability to just have, you know, uh, something like your own tone just contained in a little box like this is um, is an absolute godsend. 189 quid. I mean, the Sans Amp stuff came out before, uh, you know, kind of modelling was even a term, I think. It was one of the first companies. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they may even have um, predated Line 6 uh, doing the whole modelling thing. Uh, the Sans Amp came out, oh, here's what we say here, the, the Sans Amp came out when modelling amps were still in the distance and convinced and convinced with its re really realistic sounds, uh, but even now, uh, and convinced with its really realistic sounds, beg your pardon, but even now the GT2 can claim its place because despite its ease of operation, the GT2 is an extremely flexible, is extremely flexible, and every guitar player should probably be able to make his favourite sound or for direct solutions. Um, you've got um, a tweed um, amp, like kind of old school Fender, uh, basically Fender, style amp marshall style amp and boogie style amp uh, three basic settings clean high gain and hot wired uh, drive control adjustable simulated microphone position um, active eq section yeah i've used one of these uh, a couple of times um, just one that i borrowed many years ago and got a great sound out of it just plugged into an old carlsborough transistor combo and um you know <laughs> it's probably the best sound that ever came out of that old carlsborough transistor combo uh from i think the, the early 80s so i can attest to the uh the, the value of having one of these it's your own sound or something pretty close to it in a little pedal so Moving on for the gigging musician once again, um, 222 quid for a guitar gig bag. Yes, I know that sounds very steep, but this is a guitar gig bag for two electric guitars. To be honest with you, the safest way of transporting your pride and joy, your, you know, kind of expensive high-end boutique guitar is in, you know, a custom-built flight case that's all padded and, you know, kind of metal corners on it and everything like that. But that's fine if you are, you know, a rock star and you've got an army of roadies lugging your uh, equipment in and out of the venue. But um, if you're just Joe Public and you're playing, certainly in this part of the world, on the uh, working men's club circuit, I don't know whoever designed these venues but they had a grudge against musicians the concert room is always up about three narrow flights of stairs and you haven't elbow your way past people playing on the slot machines and stuff like that so do you really want to be lugging um, you know a wooden coffin containing each of your two guitars or more uh, up that kind of tight uh, get into a, a gig this is um, you know possibly a compromise but it's I think it's a, a sensible one you know you're getting um, Hybrid case with ABS headstock and body protectors, water repellent, um, uh, clip tuck system with chest strap, fair enough, uh, accessory pockets, steel riveted and reinforced handles and straps. It's well built, basically, and I can uh, imagine it's going to offer, you know, a, a valuable degree of protection. And as I say, 200 and odd quid for um, a, a gig bag, albeit a gig bag that will uh, transport two guitars. 
more conveniently than it would be con uh, transporting two heavy wooden flight cases. Um, it sounds a lot, but put it into perspective. If you've got, you know, 1,200 quids worth of USA built uh, Fender Stratocaster and like 1,800 quids worth of, um, you know, Les Paul that you, that you take into a gig, then 200 quid or thereabouts isn't that much in the grand scheme of things when you consider the uh, the protection it's offering to uh, guitars of that caliber so it might be one to think about maybe though you are thinking well i don't need another guitar i don't need another amp i don't need any any accessories or anything like that my biggest um you know the kind of thing that i want to spend money on is knowledge well you know lessons and just a little plug here uh, for myself you know you can get a dozen lessons with me for 160 quid and if you look at my uh, google ratings i've got a solid five star rating for customer satisfaction anyway maybe you want some lessons with somebody a little bit more high profile than a, a fat bald northern lad with uh, a punch on for ale and pies and if that's the case get yourself over to true fire uh, look at the price of this course here um where are we josh smith one of my favorite blues players uh 49.99 that's in dollars imagine how much knowledge you could accrue on a site like this uh by you know spending 200 quid let's have a look and see uh what other courses we've got that's one of the blues one let's have a look at the rock uh start type of courses that are on offer here uh just talk amongst yourselves while the page loads um so we could go for oh and it's come up with all the blues ones again um uh let's jazz blues pathways um andy timmons a lot of time for his playing. Uh, I like listening to him a lot. See what sort of uh, courses he's got on sale here. Oh, there you go. 40 quid or $40 for one of his courses. So you could really fill your boots here with uh, some valuable knowledge and, you know, uh, get yourself um, some new licks and scales and techniques and uh, knowledge under your belt uh, in quite a decent amount for if you were to spend all 200 on lessons here. So there you go. That would be my series of recommendations for you know the, uh, the the guitarist with 200 quid burning a hole in his pocket either one of these harley benton guitars one of these vox amps um, a handy little pedal that will probably uh, you know save your bacon um you know when um, when all else fails you know this could be the uh, just a spare amp in your gig bag should your amp go down just put this into the front of house pa and you'll get to the end of the gig um some um, rather uh, expensive it has to be said gig bag protection for your pride and joys but as i say it's all relative compared to this type of guitars that are going to end up in something like this um, it's not uh, that expensive in the grand scheme of things or some uh, knowledge and uh, lessons from true fire or as i say from yours truly 160 quid 12 lessons on my website link in the description that's those would be my recommendations for you know spending a couple of hundred quid on yourself as um, as a little treat to your inner guitarist okay so which one would i have then well i think there's a clear winner here i'd probably get myself another harley benton te90 flt i loved that guitar uh it was a great as i said in that clip there it was a great sort of happy medium between a full-on humbucker guitar and um, a single coil guitar and for that kind of price for that sort of versatility i don't think you can go far wrong but then again you see you know i was quite happy with the uh with the vox tone lab and to have an amp with um that gubbins inside it that might be worthwhile considering as well or maybe i'd go for some lessons with josh smith on true fire who knows anyway um so there you go what would you spend your money on uh I've, any of the things on that list there or make your suggestions down below as long as it's around about 200 quid we're allowed to go a little bit over or a little bit under that sort of ballpark figure um then let me know what your choices might be and that's pretty much it for today folks hope you've enjoyed the video and found it reasonably entertaining this little bit of fantasy uh, guitar shopping um, it's something we all indulge in from time to time and if you've enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it don't forget the live stream tomorrow friday 5 p.m uk time where we sit around and drink beer and talk about music and guitars and whatever else might crop up it's a great way to kick off the week 
weekend. I would love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now. Thank you.